This amazing airless basketball filament is being discontinued. Over many months now, I've been testing a whole bunch of different filaments to see which ones make the best airless basketballs, and some of them have had really great results. But I've had some really bad results as well. One thing that stood out to me throughout my testing is that there was definitely one filament that was a step above the rest, and that was Piba filament. This filament made airless basketballs that bounced fantastic and the durability was really strong as well. It almost even bounced as well as a regular basketball. This stuff was a bit pricey at about $60 USD per 500 gram roll, but compared to a $2,500 Wilson airless basketball, that's a pretty darn good deal. So hopefully by now you could see why I was so bummed when I received a phone call from one of the sellers of Kimya Piba S letting me know that Kimya is not only going to discontinue the Piba, but they might actually discontinue the whole additive manufacturing side of their business. This was confirmed to me even more because when I opened the Kimya Piba S webpage, it wouldn't fully load, and when I went to the homepage for their additive manufacturing section, it said that the webpage was currently offline. It looks like there are some other companies that make Piba, such as this Filamentum company here, and if you scroll on a Google search, oh look, there's one of our videos. <laughs> it looks like you can buy some Piba from AliExpress along with another company as well. The only issue about buying Piba from Filamentum is that ever since I found out that this filament existed and wanted to try it for airless basketballs, I have not been able to buy any from Filamentum because it has never been in stock. Even some of the other suppliers of the Filamentum Piba just never seem to have any in stock to try. It looks like 3D Printing USA is also making Piba filament, and what's also cool about this is that it looks like you can choose different colors, kind of like the Filamentum Piba filament. That was one critique about the Kimya Piba filament that I always had, it would have been nice to have more color options. The first Piba filament that I'm going to try is this Piba filament that's offered through AliExpress. The item description says that this Piba filament was developed specifically for airless basketballs, and it looks like it was developed by a company called Yasin, so I'm going to give this one a try and see how it holds up against something like the Kimya Piba. It looks like it's going to take a while to get to me in the US here, so in the meantime, I'll give you a small update on this fiber Flex 30D filament that I've been teasing in a couple of my previous videos. At this point, I've made a couple airless basketballs out of this filament, and for the most part, they turned out pretty good. The bounce on this filament is incredible. It's just as good as the Piba filament, which is amazing. But there are a couple issues with this filament. The first one is that it is very, very squishy compared to all the other filaments that I've tried, which kind of makes the bounce a little strange. The other issue that I keep running into is every time I print a basketball with this stuff, there seems to be a dead spot on the bottom of the ball. I would have expected that on the top because it prints the top without supports, but for some reason it keeps on having a dead spot on the bottom. I'm really hoping I can fix the problem before I release the model and make a video on it, but the problem is it's about $60 every time I try it, so we'll see what happens. I'm also going to be trying this TPU for AMS from Bamboo Lab. I'm really excited that this will actually work with the AMS so that I can do multiple material compared to all the other filaments that I've been trying that are not AMS compatible. I just wanted to give one last shout out to Kimya for making all the wonderful filaments that they did and doing such a great job with it. We will surely miss it. Anyway, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the other filaments and I'll see you in the next one.